Hi, welcome to the Paleocast Gaming Network. I'm Caitlin, and today I'm going to be looking at Parkasaurus. That's a pretty cute loading screen. <laughs> Carnotaurus walking around the world. Okay, so spacefaring dinosaurs. Land on Earth, or crash land. Okay, cute. Commander Ollie here. It's nice to meet you, human. Hang on a second. Welcome to your first dinosaur park. I will be looking into ways we can enhance the well-being of our dinosaur friends. Why? Why are they making a dinosaur park? They're the dinosaurs. Okay, let, let's. I'm sure it'll make sense in a in a moment. Science officer Luca reporting for duty. It's almost time to meet your first dinosaur. I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in this atmosphere. I'm just a little bit confused because it looked like these were dinosaurs in the beginning. Dinosaurs that were... Had a spacecraft and crash landed on Earth. And now this is a, a science dinosaur and the other one was a commander or officer or whatever dinosaur. But we're making a dinosaur park. So... Are, are there other dinosaurs that maybe aren't sentient? <laughs> I don't understand why we're making a dinosaur park. I mean, I'm glad we're making a dinosaur park. That's what I want. I just find that the premise a bit, a bit weird. Maybe they're trying to make money or something. Like, well, we know that humans are pretty obsessed with dinosaurs, so we'll just put ourselves on display. <laughs> Pax here. I piloted the crash ship into your planet. Your money is very shiny. We should really be collecting as much of this stuff as possible. So they're building the park to try to get donations by putting themselves on display. But are they... Do I get to put them in the pens? Or it might be one of those games where you make dinosaurs from dinosaur DNA dug up from amber, which is not a thing that you can do, unfortunately. DNA degrades way too quickly. Like, it, on the order of thousands to tens of thousands of years, but still way too quickly to um, be fossilized and preserved in amber from at least 65 million years ago, if not older. But maybe they're like, landed here, know that they can resurrect the dinosaurs that were on this planet somehow, and they're the ones, those dinosaurs are gonna be in the park, and these sentient dinosaurs will be running the park. All right, first dinosaur, Stegosaurus or Triceratops? Well, Seems as he is a Stegosaurus, I feel pretty rude to not pick Stegosaurus <laughs> right in front of him. Right, Stegosaurus egg, where is it? Here. Wonderful. Right, now we put the egg in the exhibit. It's gonna hatch. Oh, there's nothing in there for it. Okay, can visit the town to get vegetables. Alright, so there's a little town. So have the dinosaurs built these? Everything's dinosaur themed. Alright, let's buy some plants. Buy now. Two, three, four, five, six. That's what we needed. Okay, so obviously a very friendly tutorial, which is very, very good. Right, build a small vegetarian feeder inside your exhibit. Go exhibits and small vegetarian. Ah, veterinarians. Okay, so will this be... I hope it's a dinosaur vet. Everybody else is a dinosaur. Hire a veterinarian from the resume is located in your office. Oh, they're people. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> I don't, I don't hate people. I was just hoping if it was a shipload of a uh, spaceship load full of very intelligent dinosaurs that the veterinarians running the park might be dinosaurs. They would probably would know the most about dinosaurian biology, surely. I mean, have these do, would these vets know anything about dinosaurs? Are they like paleobiologist vets? Employees automatically find tasks to do in the park. You can assign the tasks of your employees. Okay. 
You can always look up this information in the Dinopedia located in the office, which is where we are. So where is this Dinopedia? Close that. Medicine of Dinopedia. Oh, so this game's in early access. <laughs> I keep playing early access dinosaur games because I love dinosaur games and I want to see what the latest is in the, in the dinosaur game realm. That Dinopedia I would really like to see, and I, I might have to come back and visit that in another video and see what sort of facts they put in there. All right, well, let's go back to the park. Okay, I did hire a veterinarian. Hatch egg. Okay, there it is. Ah, it's so tiny. Okay, the exhibit pane is a great tool to inspect the type of biome and biodiversity in your exhibit. Each dino species has a particular biome they prefer to live in. You can create a biome in your exhibit by first placing a base tile and then morph the biome by modifying the wetness and terrain. Okay. It'll be interesting to see whether they try to make this true to what we think the environments these animals might have lived in would be like or whether it's just sort of randomly assigned. So that Stegosaurus is tiny, which is obvious, but very, very cute. Okay, click the fence, double click on the ground to open the exhibit to pane. Drag grass tiles across your exhibit for a forest biome. There wasn't any grass around at the time that Stegosaurus was alive on Earth. That was during the Jurassic, so around uh, 150 million years ago in the late Jurassic. Grass hadn't evolved yet. They would have been eating moss and ferns and horsetails and shrubs and bits of trees and stuff like that. So that's what should be in the exhibit, not grass. Tile to create a... Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I, I knock off work as well when the park closes. Okay, so... You've got all the back-end stuff like a uh, simulation theme park type game would have. Staff happiness, building health, <laughs> structural integrity, I suppose. Oh, Stegosaurus is called Lionel. Um, all right, let's go to the next day. Oh, there's people in the park. I mean, they sound extremely happy and I would be too even though it's only one tiny little stegosaurus walking around that would blow my mind so I'm glad everybody's very happy to see it I thought, oh, I'm sorry but I've got to get you grass in here okay let's make the whole thing grass all right so now it's classified as forest Add water to morph it into a rainforest. Use the biome graph located in the exhibit pane as a guide. Every biome has an ideal ratio of trees to bushes to rocks. This ratio is called the exhibit of biodiversity and contributes to your dinosaur's exhibit score. Trees, bushes and rocks can only live rocks living in particular biomes. Note that trees and bushes often need to be near water sources. Right. So, obviously biodiversity is not just plants as biological organisms but animals as well but obviously you know zoo exhibit like this you're limited by the animal that you're going to have because it's what you put in that exhibit so i'm okay with biodiversity in this case being the ratio of trees let's explore the world of science science credits are used in the science tree to unlock useful upgrades and items for your park the most common way to generate science credits is to have scientists work at a science building or at a science presentation. Okay. Here. All right, generate science credits by placing scientists on the science node. Pick up scientists. <laughs> Just pick them up and drop them onto a science node. Okay, gotta. I wish real life research was that easy. <laughs> okay. There they are. Place them on the research node. Generate 20 science. <laughs> There's Lionel. Now you 
it going? Extremely cute small dinosaur. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that sentient dinosaurs could make money without having to put other dinosaurs on display, but eh, I don't know. Time to expand the park with more dinosaur best friends. Use the portal to go dig up skulls and footprints to be used in the egg store. Right. Ooh. Use the portal to take a journey to unknown lands and dig up fossils and footprints to the easiest way possible. Maybe something will follow you back home. So are we travelling through time or space? Like, are we going back in time, but then you wouldn't need to dig up fossils? So we must just be travelling using the portal to travel across the world. Select the time period below the portal to determine what dino parts to dig. Scientists, use your current scientist to dig for skulls and footprints. Each of your scientists has a unique dig type. Okay, look it up in the Dinopedia. Yeah. So I am going back in time? Okay, so we're in time or space are we? Uh, click on dig. Okay. Right. Oh, it's a... Kind of like Minesweeper. Okay. Zero items left. Guess that's everything. So we've got skulls and footprints. Uh, go to town and visit the egg store by so how? By trading fossils for eggs. So okay. So there we go. The Triceratops egg. Even though I was looking for a, a Stegosaur friend for Lionel. Um. You can hold the f to fill the beaker to unlock a science technology. Well, I've taught you everything I know about being a good dinosaur park manager. Why do you know how to do this already? There is so much to explore, but you're on your own to gaining park fame and becoming a great park manager. So do these... Yeah! I know it's just a cute, fun game. I don't need to speculate and figure out the logic behind it, but I really want to know why these dinosaurs crash landed taught me to how to create a zoo for dinosaurs and then said, well, I've taught you everything I know, like they've done it before. They crash land often and build dinosaur parks. Oh, that's right, I've got that egg. A triceratops. Alright, that's the tutorial for Parkosaurus. I'm liking this game so far. Of course, we haven't met many other little dinosaurs yet in the exhibit, but I'm happy to keep playing this if you want to see some more Parkosaurus and see what dinosaurs we actually are going to dig up, um, then let me know and I'll be happy to film another one of these episodes. Thanks for watching me play Parkosaurus. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to keep an eye on the PaleoCast Gaming Network.